I am your host Mystic Raven and today we're actually going to be going over um, stacked champ and whether or not uh, diminishing returns are a unquote real, real thing. Uh, it's kind of funny because um, I'm always having to talk to people about diminishing returns and a lot of people are just just in disbelief of it completely. Um, so you know I kind of want to take uh, a moment. So we're going to review um, champion points, stacked, um, secondary um, effects, and also whether or not the primary um, base damage is effective to uh, crit percentage. So it's this is going to be a very mathematical experience for a lot of people. So um, keep your uh, seatbelts on because it will get a little bumpy for you uh, depending on what you've been doing. All right, guys. So first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to go into the champion system. For this video uh, specifically, I have stacked uh, 100 into Elemental Expert. I'm a magical build. Okay. So we have 11.3 currently into Elfborn and Spell Erosion is around 3,062. Now, what I'm going to be testing on is pretty much Rothgar. It's kind of my like little to go for um, a lot of base testing, and then I scale up. But um, usually my spell erosion, I like to keep between <clears throat> my penetration, I should say, depending on my abilities and everything, uh, around 12K, between 12 and 15, depending on the group. But uh, for, the pr uh, for the point of this video, we're only going to be concentrating on Elemental Expert and Elfborn. Just something so simple. Just, just by a margin is what we're going to do it by. Okay, another thing I want to go ahead and show you uh, right off the gate is and what it's doing bef before any changes. And so we have an 8,481 base. Now, I'm uh, sorry, wrong bar. That's, I'm going to show you that here in a minute. So on this bar, we're doing 9,824 base. Now, this is just to show you guys what the tooltip is showing, right? Nothing else is implied. So uh, simple, just just something so simple. But we're going to try to get to the base, and we're going to try to get crit. Okay, just we're going to work a couple targets, and kind of show you guys what's going on here. I'm just going to be working. So there's a nine six. There's a sixteen four. Oh, hit the wrong target. Sixteen four. So we got a sixteen four crit on an Ekatrite. We'll go to some spiders. Nine six, nine six, sixteen four. 16.4. Okay, so that's uh, what we're looking at for the stacked um, Magicka. Now, I'm not going to do anything dramatic other than switch it by 0.5%. That's it. Something so stupid. Uh, sorry, I can't hear you. I had to turn off commentary. So we're going to go ahead and we are just going to drop this down to... 24.5. That's it. Our elf form was 11.3. We're going to allocate only three. Only three points into elf form. Okay. Oh, let me confirm. Now, this is what you guys are going to notice. <clears throat> okay, so now it's dealing 9,007. Okay, funnel health is. That's simple, just three points. Okay, now let me just go find some targets. Now you'll see the base drop, but look, the crit has gone up. Okay, base damage has dropped, but crit has increased. Obviously because we put points into the Elfborn. Why is this significant? Okay, just five, just three points, five percent increase our crit damage, right? Okay, so what I'm basically showing all of you is I'm losing DPS from the stack. Okay, simple. I'm losing it. I'm losing DPS for stacking. Okay, that's just simple. Okay, it's mathematical, people. It's diminished, it's called diminishing returns. So if you have ever questioned whether or not diminishing returns is a real thing, there's the proof right there. Three points, simple three points 
has now once again now my base damage has dropped okay we have seen that and why because that is relative uh once again when you're in a dungeons you know this is another reason that you're never going to see when we take a look at elfborn anything with a low resistance is going to be kind of in a um unaffected by your penetration now when you're going into a dungeon that becomes more relative it becomes more hacking 25 you might only see a margin of between 25 to 100 points but your something as simple as putting three points into elfborn is significant for your crit damage especially if you're pushing over 55.5 and this is what i'm always having to tell people your um cp is relative if you're stacking 25 points and going a, a max into your uh, you know either uh elemental expert or into your mighty congratulations you've just suffered from diminishing return it's right there okay it's simple okay it's math now you can actually go ahead and this is what's crazy you can actually allegate elfborn and elemental expert where it becomes indifferent so let's say I'm at 23% and I bump this up to about 15%. I'm actually going to do the same amount of crit damage as the stack, but I'll lose on the base damage. Thus, I'm decreasing my DPS consequently as well. So this is where spell erosion or penetration or piercing, if you're a stam, becomes relative. Because when you're in a dungeon, how much penetration are you needing? Depending on your boss fights, well, you can never have enough, but... Now, here becomes the second question. What does Sharpen do for secondary effects? Well, I'm kind of glad I'm going into this. Okay, so first thing we're going to go ahead and do is, I, as you guys can see, I have a Sharpen staff of Julianos. Okay, and the first thing, another thing I want to go ahead and do is look at Refreshing Path. The secondary effect right now is 1,240. Okay, I'm not worried about the primary effect because the damage will also increase with sharpen because of your penetration. This is true. You need penetration. Okay, I'm not arguing any of any of that. But we're going to take a look at the secondary effect, which is not complemented by sharpen or penetration. It's, uh, you know, increases with your spell damage. So the first another thing I want to go ahead and do is just replace it with Nernholm. That's it. Okay, so we was looking at uh, 1240. Now it's gone up 27 points. Okay, now you will see the increase to the base as well, but the sharpen is actually going to do more damage, but you'll lose on secondary effects, such as healing. So once again, you got to take this into consideration on your builds whether or not what the numbers are reflecting. It's not always gonna be better. Um, you have to play with your numbers, your builds, your percentages, and it's very mathematical. I'm always arguing with people about diminishing returns, whether or not they're real. People are like, diminishing returns aren't real. I stack 25 and I'm like, well, you're a fucking idiot. You know, <laughs> they are fucking real. They are so completely real. And I hate to burst people's bubbles, but I'm going to. So if you, first thing you see, if you see anybody, I don't, you can watch any YouTube video you want. If they're stacking 25, they have no fucking clue what the fuck they're doing. They don't break down the numbers. They don't break down the percentage. And it is, you know, it's relative people. You know, if you keep critting and you're losing between 50 to 100 points per seat, per damage and you're on a boss fight and you're going down through your burn effects, that becomes significant because when you're running like three, four burns like with executes, you're losing a potentially an extra thousand, two thousand damage, you know, depending, you know, on how much health they have. So all of this shit is relative. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to post it out there, put it out there, whether or not diminishing returns are real. Okay, three points. Proof is in the pudding. Yes, diminishing returns are real. Stacking. Now, I like personally to keep, you know, uh, between eh, about 22 to 23 on, you know, uh, my elemental expert or my mighty. So I'm never going to tell you to, you know, decrease it down to 18. That's just stupidity at its finest. But, um, you know, you definitely want to pay attention to those, you know, intricate numbers. And what, where can you grab more uh, damage from? Is it going to be through your penetration? Is it going to be through your crit? 
you know, how much are you critting for and how is that reflective, especially with your Mundus. For this point, for this video, I'm running the Apprentice Mundus, but let's say, you know, you're running the Thief. The Thief does not increase your damage. It increases your crit, cap your crit capability, your likelihood to crit, okay? The Shadow increases your crit damage. The Apprentice increases your base damage. The Mage will even increase your base damage. And, you know, if your base damage goes to really affect your crit, of course it is. Of course it is. But once again, guys, you have to pay attention um, to whether or not this is relative. When you're watching people's video, just look. See if they're stacked in their CP. If they're stacked in their CP, then they're unaware of diminishing returns. You can even ask them, post them below, and say, hey, what about diminishing returns? Are you in effect? Are you affected or ineffective by it? Most of, most of them will never even put a response because they don't fucking know. They don't fucking know whatsoever. Okay? So there it is, guys. I just kind of wanted to do this video. A friend of mine was just... We had this long discussion about diminishing returns with another per person who was a naysayer of it. It's like, oh, diminishing returns aren't fucking real. I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot. You know, you know, you're an idiot, period. So if you've been stacking 25, I'm not going to say it's a bad thing, but you're not optimizing your DPS. Okay. So uh, once again, you know, if, are people going to hate me for all of this? Of course they are. I'll probably get 10 dislikes within the day. It's probably just what's going to happen. So, uh, but, you know, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, just something simple, um, just kind of messing around. And I just was like, you know what? I'll do a video on it. Just, just a, you know, a percentage of a percentage just to show the relevance of it. And this becomes relevant in your dungeons. Okay. Whether you're in a trial, whether you're in vets, no matter what, what you're doing, when you're looking at a higher resistance mob and you're needing certain per, a percentage of penetration, percentage of base damage, percentage of crit, all of these numbers are reflective. Okay? So, um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, post below. I'm sure everybody's kind of lighting me up here, but I don't hear a thing. Once again, I'm so sorry. I had to turn off the commentary. You know, somebody was just a couple weeks ago, Somebody was going off, said some racist things. I, I would love to, to hear it, but unfortunately, I can't take the chance anymore because I stream live. But uh, once again, guys, there it is. You know, you can review it, rewind it, whatever. Um, but I do want to thank everybody for watching and to all my subscribers. I appreciate every one of you guys. You guys are the great, greatest. But, um, you know, um, once again and always, thank you and have a nice day.